Welcome. The great moment has arrived, and all kinds of people are gathered here outside my observatory. I've got my 15-inch telescope, of course, and others have brought their own. So there's quite a party here, and quite a carnival atmosphere. And Mars is up there, beautifully placed. Besides, we can't see it. There's cloud up there at the moment. We just hope it'll clear, but we're just going to be patient and wait. But of course, last night it did clear, and uh, some people here got very good results. So can I come first to you, Keith? Keith Johnson, what telescope are you using? I'm using a 140mm max suit of Cassegrain telescope. There's a very good result there, as you can see. There is Mars, the triangular Sirtis Major. Above it, the, the white plane of Hellas, and the red areas. That's a splendid picture. Hey, thank you. Now for Steve Reed, all the way from North Wales. It's right. a lot of disease, Steve. Thanks very much. I gather that picture was taken a few nights ago. Yeah, it was taken a few nights ago. What yeah. with? Yeah. It was um, taken with a uh, two cam, with Philips two cam webcam, uh, mounted on an uh, eight inch ref reflector. It's very good indeed. Can you take us through it? Yeah, um, we've got um, the South Pole there, the North Pole here. We've got the Circus Major on the edge here. So I was quite pleased to get some um, features like that. It's a very good image indeed. Yeah, we're quite pleased with it, yeah. Damien, I gather you were using my 15-inch. Yes, we managed to get some uh, splendid images of, of, uh, of Mars last night. And we have a colour image, uh, an image of a red filter to reveal the dark surface features of Mars. And here we have an image of a blue filter to reveal the uh, high atmospheric hazes and clouds on Mars. What do you hope for tonight, assuming the clouds are going to clear? Um, assuming the clouds clear, I'm uh, hoping to get some more uh, blue images because we've seen a very interesting bright cloud on Mars here, which is quite unusual, so we're hoping to uh, get some more images of that. What about the, Im the impending dust storm? Ah, uh, yes, the, the impending dust storm, uh, that's just around the uh, other side of Mars at the moment. It's actually spread to cover quite a large area now. Um, this won't be visible until much later in the morning, so if, if the sky is clear, hopefully we'll get some images of it. Now for something different, an animation. One of our most regular and welcome guests is Martin Mobley, and he's been very busy with his tennis reflector. Yes, Patrick, over the past couple of months when clouds allowed me, I've been imaging Mars and uh, trying to, amongst other things, make a movie, which you can easily do because Mars rotates pretty slowly if you look at it at the same time each night and you can effectively take an image every few days and stitch it together into what's called an animated GIF. It certainly it works. What's the Sirtis Major every time it comes around? Yes, the Sirtis Major always strange, strangely looks to me like a, a sort of bat clinging to a peach. <laughs> now, sadly, it started to rain, and that, I'm afraid, means an enforced break. But we're not done yet, and I hand over to Chris for the late-night shift. Well, it's still cloudy, but the advantage of having a large telescope like Patrick's 15-inch is that when Mars is this bright, we can actually see it through the clouds. And we've got some observations. Richard, what does it look like? Well, it still looks a bit faint, Chris, but we can see some markings on Mars this evening with Patrick's telescope, and it's possible to make a sketch under those conditions. One of the important things about visual observation is that the eye can spot something that's unusual. Um, you might spot a dust storm, for example, whereas somebody who's concentrating on imaging may not know the planet so well and may not recognise the value of the observation that they're making until later. 